Picture yourself standing on the edge of a vast cliff, gazing out at a landscape that stretches as far as the eye can see. The rocks beneath your feet, the mountains in the distance, and the very continents themselves seem immovable, eternal. But what if you could fast forward through time, watching as a billion years unfold before your eyes? You'd witness a spectacle beyond imagination, the face of our planet transforming in ways both subtle and dramatic. As we embark on this journey through deep time, we must first understand that the Earth is not a static sphere, but a dynamic system in constant flux. The lithosphere, the rigid outer shell of our planet, is broken into tectonic plates that float atop the semi-molten asthenosphere. These plates, like puzzle pieces in a cosmic game, are always on the move, driven by convection currents in the mantle below. Over the next billion years, this slow dance of the continents will reshape the world as we know it. The process of plate tectonics, which has been ongoing for billions of years, will continue to sculpt new landscapes, birth mountain ranges, and reconfigure the boundaries between land and sea. Let's start with the fate of our current continents. As we speak, North America is inching away from Europe at a rate of about 2.5 centimeters per year. Over millions of years, this gradual separation will widen the Atlantic Ocean, potentially creating new seafloors spreading centers and island chains. Meanwhile, Australia is on a collision course with Southeast Asia. In roughly 250 million years, these land masses may merge, forming a new supercontinent that some geologists have dubbed Novapangia. But the formation of Novapangia is just one possibility in a myriad of potential futures. Another scenario, known as Pangaea Ultima, envisions a world where the Atlantic Ocean closes completely, bringing the Americas crashing into Africa and Europe. This titanic collision would give rise to mountain ranges that could dwarf the Himalayas, as ancient rock is thrust skyward by the immense forces at play. As continents collide and separate, the Earth's crust will buckle and fold, creating new mountain ranges and deep ocean trenches. The Himalayas, already an impressive testament to the power of plate tectonics, may continue to grow for millions of years to come. However, as they rise, they will also be subject to increased erosion. Wind, rain, and ice will gradually wear them down, carrying sediment to the lowlands and seas. I and other parts of the world, new mountain ranges may spring up where none existed before. Imagine the flat expanse of the Siberian plains slowly buckling and rising over millions of years, forming a range of peaks that could rival the Andes. Or picture the Mediterranean Sea closing entirely, replaced by a mountain chain formed from the collision of Africa and Europe. But it's not just the continents that will change. The ocean floors, too, will undergo a complete transformation. The process of seafloor spreading, when new crust is created at mid-ocean ridges and old crust is subducted beneath continental plates, means that the entire ocean floor is recycled every 200 million years or so. In a billion years, the seafloor we know today will have been entirely replaced multiple times over. This recycling process has profound implications for the planet's geology. As oceanic crust is subducted, it carries water and organic materials deep into the Earth's mantle. This not only changes the composition of the mantle, but also plays a crucial role in the planet's long-term carbon cycle. Over the course of a billion years, this process will have a significant impact on the Earth's climate and atmosphere. But that's a topic for another section. The movement of tectonic plates doesn't just affect the surface of the Earth. It also influences the planet's interior. As plates collide and subduct, they can change the flow of heat from the Earth's core to its surface. This, in turn, can affect the strength of the planet's magnetic field, which is generated by the motion of liquid iron in the outer core. Over the next billion years, the Earth's magnetic field may fluctuate in strength and even reverse polarity multiple times. Each reversal leaves a mark in the rock record, like the pages of a book telling the story of our planet's magnetic history. These reversals can have far-reaching consequences, temporarily weakening the magnetic field that protects us from solar radiation and cosmic rays. But tectonic activity isn't limited to the slow movement of continents. It also manifests in more sudden, often catastrophic events. Earthquakes, which occur when stress built up along fault lines is suddenly released, will continue to shake the Earth for as long as plate tectonics remain active. 
In a billion years, countless earthquakes will have reshaped landscapes, triggered tsunamis, and perhaps even altered the courses of rivers. Volcanic activity, too, will play a significant role in shaping the Earth of the future. Volcanoes are the planet's pressure valves, releasing heat and gases from the interior. Over the next billion years, we can expect to see the birth and death of numerous volcanic islands, the eruption of supervolcanoes that could alter global climate, and the formation of vast lava plateaus that could cover areas the size of continents. Point one intriguing possibility is the formation of a new supervolcano. Today, we know of several supervolcano sites, such as Yellowstone in the United States or Toba in Indonesia. But in a billion years, new hotspots could emerge, creating volcanic systems of unprecedented scale. Imagine a supervolcano forming in the heart of a new mountain range, its eruptions powerful enough to blanket entire continents in ash and alter global climate for centuries. The Earth's crust itself will undergo significant changes over this vast span of time. Erosion will wear down mountains, while tectonic forces will lift new ones. Sedimentary rocks will form from the accumulated debris of countless generations of plants and animals, potentially preserving a fossil record of species yet to evolve. Metamorphic processes will transform existing rocks under intense heat and pressure, creating new minerals and reshaping the composition of the crust. In some areas, the crust may thin leading to the formation of rift valleys that could eventually become new oceans. The East African Rift, already in the process of tearing the African continent apart, may widen into a sea rivaling the Red Sea in size. In other regions, the crust may thicken, creating vast plateaus that could become the cradles of future civilizations, assuming, of course, that life as we know it still exists on Earth in a billion years. The planet's hydrosphere, its system of surface and underground water, will not be immune to these changes. As continents shift and mountain ranges rise and fall, river systems will be dramatically altered. Imagine the Amazon, no longer flowing east to the Atlantic, but perhaps west into a new ocean formed by the splitting of South America. Or picture the Nile, its course completely changed by the collision of Africa with Europe, perhaps no longer reaching the sea at all but instead feeding an inland sea in the heart of a new supercontinent. Coastlines, too, will be unrecognizable. The relentless processes of erosion and deposition will have reshaped every beach and cliff. Cities that today sit on the coast may find themselves hundreds of kilometers inland, while places that are currently far from the sea might become new coastal regions. The iconic white cliffs of Dover, for instance, may have long since crumbled into the sea, replaced by entirely new geological formations. But it's not just Earth's surface that will change. The planet's interior will also undergo significant transformations. The core, a churning ball of molten iron and nickel, will continue to cool over the next billion years. This cooling process, while incredibly slow by human standards, will have profound effects on the planet's magnetic field and its ability to retain internal heat. As the core cools, the convection currents that drive plate tectonics may weaken. Some scientists speculate that in the very distant future, perhaps beyond the billion-year time frame we're considering, plate tectonics might cease altogether, leading to a stagnant lid, scenario where the surface of the Earth becomes a single, unmoving plate. While this is unlikely to occur within the next billion years, we may see the first signs of this slowing in the form of reduced tectonic activity and less frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The mantle, too, will evolve over time. As subducted oceanic crust continues to mix with mantle material, the composition of this layer will gradually change. This could lead to changes in mantle viscosity and temperature, potentially altering the way heat is transferred from the core to the surface and influencing the style and vigor of plate tectonics. Point one fascinating possibility is the formation of new types of rocks and minerals. Over the course of a billion years, under conditions of extreme heat and pressure that we can scarcely imagine, entirely new mineral species could form deep within the Earth. Some of these might eventually be brought to the surface through tectonic processes, providing future geologists, if there are any, with new puzzles to solve and resources to exploit. The Earth's rotation is another factor that will change over the next billion years. The planet's rotation is gradually slowing due to tidal forces exerted by the Moon. While this process is extremely gradual, 
adding only about 1.8 milliseconds to the length of a day every century, over a billion years, it will add up to significant changes. Days will become longer, potentially altering weather patterns and ocean currents. This slowing rotation could have knock-on effects for plate tectonics. Some researchers have suggested that changes in the Earth's rotation rate could influence the pattern of convection in the mantle, potentially altering the configuration of tectonic plates and the location of volcanic hotspots. As we consider these vast geological changes, it's worth pondering the fate of humanity's marks on the planet. Our cities, roads, and monuments, which seem so permanent to us, are mere scratches on the surface from a geological perspective. In a billion years, even the most durable of our structures will have long since crumbled to dust, worn away by the relentless forces of erosion and tectonic activity. However, some traces of our existence might persist in the geological record. The layer of sediment being deposited in our time, rich in plastics, radioactive isotopes, and other uniquely human-made materials, could form a distinct band in the rock record. Future geologists, whether human, post-human, or some entirely new form of intelligent life, might puzzle over this layer, much as we today puzzle over the iridium-rich layer that marks the end of the dinosaurs. The changes we've discussed so far are largely driven by the internal processes of the Earth, but it's important to remember that our planet doesn't exist in isolation. External forces will also play a role in shaping the Earth over the next billion years. The Sun, for instance, will continue to grow brighter, potentially accelerating the pace of erosion and altering the Earth's climate in ways that could influence geological processes. Impacts from space objects will continue to leave their mark on the planet. While massive, extinction-level impacts like the one that ended the reign of the dinosaurs are rare, over the course of a billion years, it's almost certain that the Earth will experience several significant collisions. These could create new impact craters, potentially trigger volcanic eruptions, and even influence the course of plate tectonics by creating weak spots in the Earth's crust. As we stand on the threshold of this vast expanse of time, it's natural to feel a sense of awe and perhaps even insignificance. The changes we've discussed, continents colliding and separating, mountains rising and falling, oceans opening and closing, occur on a timescale that dwarfs human existence. Yet it's precisely this long-term perspective that makes geology so fascinating. By studying the rocks beneath our feet and the processes that shape our planet, we can peer into the deep past and the far future. We can trace the history of our world through billions of years and imagine what it might become in the eons to come. This sense of deep time, of the endless cycles of creation and destruction that have shaped and will continue to shape our world, is perhaps geology's greatest gift to us. As we conclude our exploration of the geological and tectonic changes that await the Earth over the next billion years, we're left with a vision of a planet in constant flux. The world of a billion years hence will be alien to our eyes. New continents, new oceans, new mountain ranges, and perhaps even new types of rocks and minerals. Yet it will still be our Earth, the product of the same fundamental processes that have shaped our world since its formation over 4 billion years ago. This vision of the future Earth serves as a powerful reminder of the dynamic nature of our planet. It challenges us to think beyond the human timescale and consider our world in the context of deep geological time. As we face the environmental challenges of our era, Perhaps this long-term perspective can provide us with new insights and a deeper appreciation for the remarkable planet we call home. Certainly, I'll create an engaging and creative text focusing on the second point. Evolution of climate and atmosphere over the next billion years. This text will be in English, aim for at least 12,000 characters, and dive deep into the fascinating changes our planet's climate and atmosphere might undergo. Here we go. Evolution of climate and atmosphere. A billion year forecast imagine standing on a hilltop, feeling the wind on your face, breathing in the air, and gazing at the sky above. Now, picture yourself able to fast forward through time, witnessing the gradual yet profound changes in the very air you breathe and the climate that shapes our world. Over the next billion years, Earth's atmosphere and climate will undergo a metamorphosis so complete that if you were to visit this future Earth, you might not recognize it as the same planet we call home today. Our journey begins with the air around us. The atmosphere we know a delicate balance of nitrogen, oxygen, 
and trace gases is the product of billions of years of evolution, shaped by geological processes and the emergence of life. But this atmosphere is far from static. Over the next billion years, it will continue to change, influenced by a complex interplay of factors both terrestrial and cosmic point one of the most significant drivers of atmospheric change over the coming eon will be the sun itself. Our star is not constant in its output. As it ages, it gradually becomes brighter and hotter. Over the next billion years, the sun's luminosity is expected to increase by about 10%. This might not sound like much, but its effects on Earth's climate and atmosphere will be profound. As the sun's energy output increases, Earth will receive more heat. This additional warmth will trigger a series of feedback loops in our planet's systems. One of the first and most crucial changes will be an acceleration of the water cycle. Warmer temperatures will lead to increased evaporation from oceans, lakes, and other water bodies. This might initially lead to a more humid world, with heavier and more frequent rainfall in many areas. However, this is just the beginning of a long and complex chain of events. The increased water vapor in the atmosphere will act as a greenhouse gas, trapping more heat and further warming the planet. This warming will, in turn, lead to even more evaporation, creating a self-reinforcing cycle that will dramatically alter Earth's climate over millions of years. As temperatures rise, the Earth's ice caps and glaciers will begin to melt at an accelerated rate. This process, which we're already observing today due to human-induced climate change, will play out on a much grander scale over geological time. The melting of ice sheets will release vast amounts of fresh water into the oceans, potentially disrupting ocean currents and further altering global climate patterns. The loss of ice cover will also change the Earth's albedo its ability to reflect sunlight back into space. Ice and snow are highly reflective, bouncing much of the sun's energy back before it can warm the planet. As these reflective surfaces diminish, more solar energy will be absorbed by the darker land and water surfaces exposed beneath leading to even more warming in a process known as the ice albedo feedback loop. But the story of our future atmosphere isn't just about warming. The increased heat and humidity will also lead to more extreme weather events. Storms may become more frequent and more intense. Hurricanes and typhoons could grow to sizes rarely seen in Earth's current climate. Monsoon patterns could shift dramatically turning once fertile regions into deserts and vice versa. As we move further into the future, perhaps 100 to 200 million years from now, the continued warming will begin to have even more dramatic effects on the atmosphere's composition. The warmer oceans will be less able to absorb carbon dioxide from the air. At the same time, the increased heat will cause rocks to weather more quickly, a process that typically absorbs CO2. However, the balance between these processes will be crucial in determining the long-term CO2 levels in the atmosphere. If CO2 levels rise significantly, it could trigger a runaway greenhouse effect similar to what we observe on Venus today. In this scenario, the atmosphere would become increasingly thick and hot, potentially rendering the surface uninhabitable for most forms of life as we know them. However, this extreme outcome is not certain and depends on many factors including the uncertain future of life on Earth and its ability to regulate the planet's systems. Speaking of life, the composition of our atmosphere over the next billion years will be intrinsically linked to the evolution of life on Earth. The oxygen-rich atmosphere we enjoy today is the product of photosynthetic organisms, primarily plants and certain bacteria. As the climate changes, so too will the distribution and types of life on Earth, which in turn will influence the atmosphere. For instance, if increasing temperatures and changing rainfall patterns lead to a significant die-off of forests and other plant life, it could reduce the planet's capacity to produce oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide. On the other hand, life has proven remarkably adaptable throughout Earth's history. New forms of photosynthetic organisms might evolve to thrive in the changing conditions, potentially helping to maintain a breathable atmosphere for longer than we might expect. As we approach the halfway point of our billion-year journey, around 500 million years from now, the cumulative effects of these changes will have transformed Earth's climate and atmosphere almost beyond recognition. The increased solar radiation and the potential buildup of greenhouse gases could push average global temperatures to levels far beyond anything in human experience. 
This warming could lead to the evaporation of a significant portion of Earth's oceans. As water vapor is itself a potent greenhouse gas, this would further accelerate the warming process. Some models suggest that Earth could enter a moist greenhouse state, where the atmosphere becomes saturated with water vapor. In this scenario, water molecules in the upper atmosphere would be broken down by solar radiation in a process called photodissociation, allowing hydrogen to escape into space. The loss of hydrogen to space would be a slow but irreversible process, gradually depleting Earth's water reserves. Over hundreds of millions of years, this could lead to a significant reduction in the planet's total water volume. The vast oceans that define our blue planet today might recede, leaving behind expanded continents and perhaps scattered, hypersaline seas. But the story of our future atmosphere isn't just about what it might lose, it's also about what it might gain. As the Earth heats up, volcanic activity could increase in some regions. Volcanoes release a variety of gases into the atmosphere, including carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and water vapor. Depending on the scale and duration of this volcanism, it could significantly alter the composition of the atmosphere. For example, an increase in sulfur dioxide could lead to the formation of reflective aerosols in the upper atmosphere, potentially cooling the planet temporarily. This could create a complex interplay between warming and cooling factors, leading to periods of climate instability and rapid change. As we move deeper into our billion year forecast, perhaps 700 to 800 million years from now, the continued brightening of the sun will push Earth's climate to even greater extremes. Some scientists predict that by this time, Earth could begin to resemble a hothouse world with global temperatures far beyond anything in the planet's recent geological past. I in this hothouse Earth, the distribution of climates across the planet would be dramatically different from what we see today. The expanded tropical zones might extend much closer to the poles, while the polar regions themselves could be warm and ice-free for the first time in hundreds of millions of years. The planet's wind patterns and ocean currents would be altered, reshaping weather systems on a global scale. The atmosphere of this far future Earth would likely be much thicker than it is today, with higher concentrations of greenhouse gases trapping heat and creating a pressure cooker effect. The sky might take on a different hue, perhaps tinted by the scattering of light through new mixtures of atmospheric gases. But even in this extreme scenario, Earth's atmosphere would still be dynamic, influenced by the complex interplay of geological, biological, and cosmic factors. The planet's magnetic field, generated by the motion of molten iron in the outer core, plays a crucial role in protecting the atmosphere from solar wind and cosmic radiation. Over the course of a billion years, changes in the Earth's core could alter the strength and configuration of this magnetic field, potentially leaving parts of the atmosphere more vulnerable to stripping by solar wind. As we approach the final stages of our billion-year atmospheric odyssey, we enter a realm of increasing uncertainty and speculation. The Earth's system is incredibly complex, with myriad feedback loops and interconnected processes that make long-term predictions challenging. However, Based on our understanding of planetary science, we can envision some possible outcomes. I in one scenario, the continued loss of water to space combined with extreme surface temperatures could lead to a planet-wide desert, with any remaining water locked in underground reservoirs or present only as atmospheric vapor. The atmosphere in this case might be considerably thinner than it is today, as many of the processes that replenish atmospheric gases would have slowed or stopped. Alternatively, if life manages to persist and adapt to the changing conditions, we might see the emergence of a radically different but still vibrant biosphere. Perhaps extremophile organisms, similar to those that inhabit the harshest environments on Earth today, would become the dominant forms of life. These organisms could potentially influence the atmosphere in ways we can hardly imagine, perhaps producing exotic mixtures of gases as byproducts of their metabolic processes. There's also the possibility that, Given enough time, the Earth might experience a resurgence of plate tectonics and volcanic activity, releasing gases that could replenish the atmosphere and potentially stabilize the climate, albeit at a much warmer baseline than we're accustomed to. Throughout this long journey, the Earth's atmosphere will have gone through periods of relative stability punctuated by times of rapid change. These shifts could be driven by a variety of factors, 
sudden releases of greenhouse gases from melting permafrost or undersea methane deposits, changes in solar output, or even rare but impactful events like supervolcano eruptions or asteroid impacts. Each of these atmospheric states, from the humid, stormy world of the near future to the potential hothouse or desert planet of the distant future, would present a unique set of conditions that would shape the evolution of life on Earth. The organisms that might inhabit these future worlds would need to be supremely adaptable, capable of surviving in conditions that would be lethal to most life forms we know today. As we reach the end of our billion year forecast, we're left with a vision of an Earth that is both familiar and alien. The same physical laws and chemical processes that shape our world today will still be at work, but their cumulative effects over such a vast span of time will have created an environment that might be unrecognizable to present-day observers. The atmosphere of this far future Earth might be thinner or thicker, hotter or possibly even colder, filled with gases in proportions vastly different from what we know today. The climate might be one of planet-wide extremes, or it might have found a new, alien equilibrium. The sky might be a different color, the clouds formed of unfamiliar compounds, the wind carrying traces of gases never before breathed by any living thing in Earth's long history. Yet, even in this transformed state, the Earth's atmosphere and climate will continue to be dynamic, responsive systems. They will still be shaped by the interplay of solar radiation, geological processes, and whatever forms of life might still exist. The dance of energy and matter that defines Earth's climate system will continue, even if the tempo and the steps have changed beyond our current recognition. As we contemplate these potential futures, we're reminded of the incredible dynamism of our planet. The Earth we know, with its blue skies, white clouds, and life sustaining balance of gases, is just one phase in a long and ongoing story of atmospheric evolution. This perspective serves to underscore the precious and perhaps fleeting nature of the conditions that allow life as we know it to thrive. Moreover, this billion-year view of Earth's climate future highlights the incredible importance of the atmosphere to all aspects of our planet's systems. From the weather that shapes our daily lives to the long-term climatic conditions that guide the evolution of life, the atmosphere is the great mediator of energy and matter on Earth's surface. Certainly. I'll create an engaging and creative text focusing on the third point. Impact on the biosphere and evolution of species over the next billion years. This text will be in English, aim for at least 12,000 characters, and delve into the fascinating changes our planet's life forms might undergo. Here we go. Impact on the biosphere and evolution of species. A billion year odyssey imagined standing in a lush forest, surrounded by a cacophony of life. Birds sing in the canopy, insects buzz through the undergrowth, and in the distance, you hear the low rumble of larger animals moving through the trees. Now close your eyes and try to picture this same location one billion years from now. What forms of life might inhabit this space? How will the intricate web of life we know today have changed? As we embark on this billion-year journey through the future of Earth's biosphere, prepare to witness an epic tale of adaptation, extinction, and rebirth on a scale beyond imagination. Our story begins in the present day, with the rich tapestry of life that currently inhabits our planet. From the smallest bacteria to the largest whales, from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks, life on Earth today is incredibly diverse. But this diversity is not static. It's the result of billions of years of evolution, shaped by changing environments, competition, cooperation, and random chance. As we look forward to the next billion years, we must remember that the forces driving evolution will continue to shape life in ways both predictable and utterly surprising. The first major challenge that life will face in the coming millions of years is the gradual warming of the planet due to increased solar radiation. As the sun slowly becomes brighter and hotter, Earth's climate will change, creating new pressures on existing ecosystems. Species will need to adapt, migrate, or face extinction. In the oceans, rising temperatures will lead to significant changes. Coral reefs, already under stress from human-induced climate change, may struggle to survive in warmer waters. However, evolution is a powerful force. We might see the emergence of new types of heat-tolerant corals, or perhaps entire new ecosystems taking the place of today's reefs. The warming oceans could also lead to changes in ocean currents, 
altering the distribution of nutrients and potentially causing shifts in the entire marine food web. On land, the changing climate will drive species migrations on a massive scale. Forests may slowly march towards the poles as equatorial regions become too hot for current tree species. Animals will follow these shifting habitats, leading to new interactions between species that were previously geographically isolated. This mixing of ecosystems could spur rapid evolutionary changes as species adapt to new competitors, predators, and prey. As we move further into the future, perhaps 50 to 100 million years from now, the cumulative effects of climate change will have reshaped the Earth's biomes dramatically. The distribution of deserts, grasslands, forests, and tundra will be significantly different from what we see today. This rearrangement of the Earth's ecosystems will create both opportunities and challenges for life. In some regions, increased rainfall might transform deserts into lush habitats, creating new niches for life to exploit. We might see the evolution of novel plant types adapted to thrive in these newly verdant areas. Animals, too, would evolve to take advantage of these new environments. Imagine desert-dwelling species rapidly adapting to life in a sudden oasis, their bodies and behaviors changing to suit their new home. Conversely, other areas might become drier, turning once fertile regions into deserts. In these places, we'd likely see the evolution of extreme drought tolerance in plants and animals. Perhaps we'd witness the emergence of new types of succulent plants, capable of storing water for years at a time. Animals might evolve new ways to conserve water, with ultra-efficient kidneys or the ability to enter long periods of dormancy during dry spells. As the earth continues to warm, the polar regions will undergo perhaps the most dramatic transformations. The melting of ice caps and the thawing of permafrost will open up vast new territories for life to colonize. Species that are able to rapidly adapt to these new conditions will thrive and diversify. We might see an explosion of biodiversity in what are currently some of the most inhospitable regions on Earth. But it's not just climate change that will drive evolution over the next billion years. The movement of continents due to plate tectonics will also play a crucial role in shaping the future of life on Earth. As land masses collide or separate, species will be thrown together or isolated, driving evolution in new directions. Imagine, for instance, a scenario where Africa continues its northward drift, eventually colliding with Europe. This would create a land bridge between two continents that have been separated for millions of years, allowing for a mixing of African and European fauna and flora. The evolutionary consequences of such an event would be profound. We might see the emergence of hybrid species, or entirely new lineages arising from the intense competition and novel interactions between previously isolated species. Similarly, the potential formation of new supercontinents over the course of hundreds of millions of years could lead to mass migrations and mixing of species on a scale not seen since the breakup of Pangaea. This could result in a period of rapid evolutionary change and diversification, as species adapt to new competitors and environments. As we approach the halfway point of our billion year journey, around 500 million years from now, the cumulative effects of climate change, continental drift, and evolution will have transformed the Earth's biosphere almost beyond recognition. The forms of life inhabiting this future Earth might be as different from current life as today's organisms are from the strange creatures of the Cambrian explosion. Point one intriguing possibility is the evolution of new forms of photosynthesis. As the sun's output increases and the atmosphere changes, plants, or their descendants, might evolve new pigments and metabolic pathways to more efficiently capture and use solar energy. We might see the emergence of plants in colors we can hardly imagine, their leaves adapted to absorb different wavelengths of light than those favored by today's chlorophyll-based photosynthesis that I in the oceans. The increasing temperatures and changing chemistry of the water could drive the evolution of entirely new phyla of marine life. Perhaps we'd see the rise of organisms that blur the line between plant and animal even more than today's coral polyps, capable of both photosynthesis and active predation. The deep oceans, long one of the most stable environments on Earth, might become hotbeds of evolutionary innovation as changing conditions drive rapid adaptation. On land, the increasing heat might drive the evolution of new thermoregulatory strategies in animals. We might see the emergence of mammals with reflective fur or skin, 
able to cope with temperatures that would be lethal to most of today's species. Alternatively, we might witness a rise in nocturnal or crepuscular species, as more animals evolve to be active during the cooler night hours. As we move deeper into our speculative future, perhaps 700 to 800 million years from now, the continued environmental changes might push life to explore entirely new strategies for survival. One possibility is the evolution of significantly increased intelligence in multiple lineages. As environments become more challenging and unpredictable, the ability to problem-solve and adapt behavior could become an increasingly valuable trait. We might see the emergence of tool use and complex social behaviors in a wide variety of species, not just the primates and cetaceans where we observe these traits today. Another intriguing possibility is the evolution of new forms of symbiosis. As resources become scarcer in some regions, different species might find innovative ways to cooperate for mutual benefit. We might see the emergence of complex, multi-species organisms, where different life forms have become so interdependent that they function as a single entity. Imagine, for instance, a mobile plant-animal hybrid capable of both photosynthesis and active movement, with different species working together in a single body to survive in a harsh environment. The increasing heat and changing atmosphere might also drive life to explore new habitats. We might see an expansion of life into currently inhospitable regions. Perhaps new extremophile species would evolve to thrive in superheated deep sea vents or in the thin air of high-altitude plateaus. We might even see the first tentative steps of life's expansion beyond the Earth's surface with hardy microorganisms evolving the ability to survive in the upper atmosphere or even in the vacuum of low Earth orbit. As we approach the final stages of our billion-year biological odyssey, we enter a realm of increasing uncertainty and speculation. The Earth of a billion years from now might be so different from our current world that it's difficult to predict what forms of life could survive there. However, if there's one thing that the history of life on Earth has taught us, it's that life is incredibly tenacious and adaptable. In one possible scenario, the increasing heat and loss of water to space might have turned much of the Earth's surface into a global desert. In this world, we might see the evolution of incredible drought resistance in both plants and animals. Perhaps we'd witness the emergence of plant like organisms that spend most of their life as dormant seeds, only sprouting and completing their life cycle during rare rain events. Animals in this world might evolve to derive all their water from their food, or develop the ability to enter long-term states of suspended animation to wait out extreme dry periods. Alternatively, if the Earth has entered a moist greenhouse state with a hot, humid atmosphere, we might see the evolution of life forms adapted to an almost perpetually tropical world. In this steamy future, we might find organisms that are equally at home in water and air, able to take advantage of the moisture-saturated atmosphere. Perhaps we'd see the evolution of buoyant, balloon-like organisms that float through the thick air, filtering microorganisms from the moist atmosphere for sustenance. The increasing solar radiation might also drive the evolution of new defense mechanisms against DNA damage. We might see the emergence of life forms with incredibly efficient DNA repair mechanisms, or perhaps even the evolution of entirely new forms of genetic material more resistant to radiation damage. Throughout this long journey, life will have gone through multiple cycles of diversification and mass extinction. Each catastrophic event, whether a supervolcano eruption, an asteroid impact, or a sudden shift in climate, would create opportunities for the survivors to adapt and fill new niches. The timeline of life on Earth is punctuated by such events, and the next billion years will likely see several such resets and reboots of the biosphere. One intriguing possibility is that these challenging conditions might drive the evolution of significantly increased intelligence and technological capability in one or more species. While it's impossible to predict the exact nature of such beings, we might speculate about organisms capable of modifying their environment on a large scale perhaps even developing the ability to migrate to other planets as their home world becomes increasingly inhospitable. As we reach the end of our billion-year forecast, we're left with a vision of an Earth that is both alien and familiar. The same fundamental processes of evolution, variation, selection, and inheritance will still be at work, but their cumulative effects over such a vast span of time will have created forms of life beyond our wildest imagination 
The biosphere of this far future Earth might be much simpler than it is today, with fewer but highly specialized and robust species adapted to extreme conditions. Or it might be even more complex and diverse, filled with life forms that have found innovative ways to thrive in a transformed world. The descendants of today's plants and animals might be unrecognizable, having undergone a billion years of adaptation to ever-changing conditions. Yet, even in this transformed state, the Earth's biosphere will continue to be a dynamic, responsive system. Life, in whatever form it takes, will continue to evolve and adapt to the prevailing conditions. The dance of predator and prey, of competition and cooperation, of adaptation and counteradaptation, will continue, even if the participants in this dance are utterly alien to our eyes. As we contemplate these potential futures, we're reminded of the incredible resilience and adaptability of life. From its first emergence in the primordial oceans of early Earth to its potential future forms in a hot, changed world, life has consistently found ways to survive and thrive in the face of tremendous challenges. This perspective serves to underscore the precious and unique nature of Earth's biosphere, a complex system that has been billions of years in the making. Moreover, this billion-year view of Earth's biological future highlights the incredible importance of the interconnectedness of life and environment. From the smallest bacteria to the largest plants and animals, all life forms are both shaped by and shapers of their environment. This intricate dance between life and planet has been ongoing for billions of years and will continue for billions more, constantly creating new forms and new possibilities. Certainly. I'll create an engaging and creative text focusing on the fourth point. Influence of astronomical and cosmic events over the next billion years. This text will be in English, aimed for at least 12,000 characters, and explore the fascinating cosmic influences on Earth's future. Here we go, influence of astronomical and cosmic events, Earth's billion-year cosmic dance imagine yourself on a clear night, gazing up at the star-studded sky. The twinkling lights seem eternal, unchanging. Yet, as we embark on a journey through the next billion years, we'll discover that our planet's cosmic neighborhood is far from static. Earth's future will be shaped not only by forces from within but also by events and influences from the vast expanse of space. From the gradual changes in our sun to the majestic dance of galaxies, cosmic events will play a crucial role in Earth's billion-year odyssey. Our cosmic journey begins close to home, with the star at the center of our solar system, the sun. Over the next billion years, our familiar yellow dwarf star will undergo significant changes that will have profound effects on Earth. As the sun continues to fuse hydrogen into helium in its core, it will gradually become brighter and hotter. This process, while imperceptibly slow on human timescales, will have dramatic consequences for our planet over astronomical time. I in about 500 million years, the sun will be about 5% brighter than it is today. This might not sound like much, but it will be enough to trigger major changes in Earth's climate and potentially render the planet uninhabitable for many current life forms. The increased solar radiation will accelerate the weathering of rocks, which pulls carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. This might lead to a significant drop in CO2 levels, potentially causing most plants to die off and fundamentally altering Earth's biosphere. As we approach the 1 billion year mark, the sun will be about 10% brighter than it is now. This increased energy output could potentially trigger a runaway greenhouse effect on Earth, similar to what we observe on Venus today. The oceans could start to evaporate, and water vapor, a potent greenhouse gas, would further trap heat, creating a vicious cycle of warming. But the sun's influence on Earth's future goes beyond just its increasing brightness. The solar magnetic field, which goes through cycles of activity every 11 years or so, will continue to influence our planet. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections, huge eruptions of magnetized plasma from the sun's surface, will continue to bombard Earth with charged particles. While our magnetosphere generally protects us from the worst effects of these solar storms, particularly powerful events could potentially disrupt Earth's magnetic field, affecting everything from migratory animals to our technology. Over hundreds of millions of years, the sun's magnetic field is expected to weaken as the star ages. This could lead to a reduction in the frequency of sunspots and solar flares, potentially affecting Earth's climate in ways we're only beginning to understand. 
some scientists speculate that changes in solar magnetic activity could influence cloud formation on Earth, adding another layer of complexity to long-term climate predictions. Moving beyond our star, let's consider the influence of Earth's cosmic dance partner, the Moon. Over the next billion years, the Moon will continue its gradual retreat from Earth. This recession, caused by tidal forces between Earth and Moon, has been ongoing since the Moon's formation and will continue into the far future. As the Moon moves farther away, Earth's rotation will continue to slow down, gradually increasing the length of our days. I in about 50 million years, the day length on Earth will have increased to 25 hours. By the time we reach the billion-year mark, days might be significantly longer, potentially lasting 28 hours or more. This slowing rotation could have profound effects on Earth's climate, altering wind patterns and ocean currents. It might also affect the strength and configuration of Earth's magnetic field, which is generated by the planet's rotating liquid outer core. The Moon's retreat will also lead to less frequent and less intense tides. This could have significant implications for coastal ecosystems and might even influence the evolution of tidal-dependent species. In the very far future, beyond our billion-year scope, the Moon's recession might even lead to Earth's rotational axis becoming unstable potentially causing dramatic shifts in the planet's climate as its tilt varies chaotically. But our cosmic story doesn't end with the Earth-Moon system. The entire solar system is a dynamic place, and over the course of a billion years, we can expect to see some dramatic events. While major changes to the orbits of the planets are unlikely in this time frame, the solar system is remarkably stable. There are other potential shakeups to consider. Point one of the most intriguing possibilities is the prospect of close encounters with interstellar objects. In 2017, astronomers observed the first confirmed interstellar object passing through our solar system, the enigmatic Oumuamua. Since then, we've spotted at least one more such visitor. Over the course of a billion years, our solar system will likely encounter many more interstellar objects. While most will pass harmlessly by, there's always the possibility of a close encounter that could perturb the orbits of asteroids or comets, potentially sending them on a collision course with Earth. Speaking of collisions, over the next billion years, Earth will undoubtedly experience impacts from space objects. While large, dinosaur extinction-level impacts are rare, they do happen on geological timescales. In a billion years, it's statistically likely that Earth will experience at least one or two major impacts. These events could cause global climate change, potentially triggering mass extinctions and reshaping Earth's biosphere. But it's not just large impacts we need to consider. Even smaller, more frequent impacts can have significant effects over long timescales. Cosmic dust, tiny particles from comets and asteroids, constantly falls to Earth. Over millions of years, this cosmic dust adds up. Some scientists estimate that cosmic dust accounts for thousands of tons of material added to Earth each year. Over a billion years, this could potentially alter the composition of Earth's crust in subtle but meaningful ways. As we zoom out further, we need to consider the influence of our galactic neighborhood. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is not just a static collection of stars. It's a dynamic system, with stars moving in complex orbits around the galactic center. Our solar system, currently located in a relatively quiet suburb of the Milky Way, will travel many times around the galactic center over the next billion years. During this grand orbit, we'll pass through different regions of the galaxy, each with its own characteristics. We might pass through areas of higher star density, increasing the chances of gravitational interactions with other star systems. While direct collisions between stars are extremely unlikely, even distant encounters could potentially disturb the orbits of comets in the outer solar system, sending them hurtling inward. Doubt we'll also pass through regions of varying gas and dust density. Currently, our solar system is passing through a region known as the local bubble, an area of relatively low density in the interstellar medium. But over the course of a billion years, we'll pass through denser regions as well. These passages could potentially affect the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles and magnetic fields that surrounds our solar system, altering the amount of cosmic radiation that reaches Earth. Point one particularly interesting feature we might encounter in our galactic journey is a spiral arm. The Milky Way, like many spiral galaxies, 
has distinct arms where star formation is more active and the density of young, hot stars is higher. Passing through a spiral arm could expose Earth to higher levels of cosmic radiation and potentially increase the frequency of nearby supernovae. Speaking of supernovae, these spectacular stellar explosions will continue to influence Earth over the next billion years. While supernovae are rare events from a human perspective, on a billion-year timescale, it's almost certain that our solar system will experience the effects of multiple nearby supernovae. A supernova within about 30 light years could potentially strip away parts of Earth's ozone layer, exposing the surface to harmful ultraviolet radiation. Even more distant supernovae could bombard Earth with cosmic rays, potentially affecting cloud formation and climate. But supernovae aren't all bad news. These stellar explosions are also responsible for creating and dispersing many of the heavy elements in the universe. Over the course of a billion years, material from distant supernovae will make its way into our solar system, potentially being incorporated into Earth through cosmic dust. In a very real sense, our planet will continue to be enriched by the deaths of distant stars. As we approach the halfway point of our billion year cosmic odyssey, we need to consider some of the larger scale events that might influence Earth's future. One intriguing possibility is the prospect of a wandering black hole passing near our solar system. While such an event is extremely unlikely, it's not impossible on a billion year timescale. A close encounter with a black hole could dramatically alter the orbits of planets or even eject Earth from the solar system entirely, sending our planet on a lonely journey through interstellar space. Another cosmic influence to consider is gamma-ray bursts, GRBs. These incredibly energetic events, thought to be caused by the collapse of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars, release enormous amounts of energy in tightly focused beams. If Earth were to be caught in the path of a nearby GRB, the effects could be devastating. The gamma radiation could destroy our ozone layer and trigger global cooling through the formation of nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere. While the likelihood of Earth being hit by a GRB is very low, over the course of a billion years, it becomes a possibility we can't entirely discount. As we move into the latter half of our billion year forecast, we need to consider the influence of even larger scale cosmic events. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is on a collision course with our nearest large galactic neighbor, Andromeda. While this collision won't occur within our billion-year time frame, current estimates put it at about 4.5 billion years in the future, the gravitational influence of Andromeda will become increasingly significant over the next billion years. As the two galaxies draw closer, their mutual gravitational attraction will begin to distort their shapes. This could potentially alter star formation rates in both galaxies and might even influence the orbits of stars in the outer regions of the Milky Way. While our solar system, nestled safely in the galactic disk, is unlikely to be directly affected in the next billion years, these large-scale gravitational perturbations add another layer of complexity to Earth's cosmic future. Another fascinating cosmic influence to consider is the potential for changes in the cosmic ray environment. Cosmic rays high-energy particles that sip through space at nearly the speed of light, constantly bombard Earth. Most are deflected by our magnetic field, but some make it through to the surface. Over the course of a billion years, changes in our galaxy's magnetic field or in the distribution of cosmic ray sources could alter the cosmic ray flux reaching Earth. This might seem like a minor consideration, but cosmic rays play a role in cloud formation and can affect the rates of genetic mutations in living organisms. A significant change in cosmic ray flux over millions of years could potentially influence Earth's climate, and even the course of evolution. As we approach the end of our billion year journey, we should consider one more cosmic wildcard the possibility of contact with extraterrestrial intelligence. While such an event is purely speculative, a billion years is a very long time. If there are other technological civilizations in our galaxy, a billion years would provide ample time for them to expand and explore. The discovery of extraterrestrial life, or its discovery of us, could dramatically alter Earth's future in ways we can hardly imagine. Even without direct contact, the mere detection of extraterrestrial intelligence could profoundly influence Earth's civilizations. The knowledge that we are not alone in the universe could alter our species' perception of itself and its place in the cosmos, 
potentially changing the course of our cultural and technological development. As we reach the end of our billion year cosmic forecast, we're left with a vision of an Earth that is intimately connected to the cosmos around it. From the brightening sun to the reshaping of our galaxy, from asteroid impacts to the possibility of extraterrestrial contact, the next billion years promise to be a cosmic odyssey beyond our wildest imagination. Yet, even in the face of these cosmic influences, Earth has proven to be remarkably resilient. Our planet has already survived billions of years of cosmic bombardment, solar changes, and galactic journeys. Whatever the next billion years may bring, Earth will continue its cosmic dance, eternally shaped by the vast and wondrous universe in which it spins. As we contemplate these potential futures, we're reminded of the incredible interconnectedness of our planet and the cosmos. Every atom in our bodies was forged in the hearts of stars, and our future remains intimately tied to the cosmic events unfolding around us. This perspective serves to underscore the precious and unique nature of our planet, a tiny blue marble hanging in the vast cosmic ocean, subject to influences from across the universe. Moreover, this billion-year view of Earth's cosmic future highlights the incredible importance of understanding our place in the universe. From the smallest subatomic particles to the largest structures in the cosmos, everything is connected in a vast, intricate dance of matter and energy. As we continue to explore and understand these connections, we gain not only knowledge about our past and future but also a deeper appreciation for the cosmic story of which we are a part.